Joseph said, How can I do this great evil against my master? Genesis chapter 39. And it came to pass, verse 7, when Joseph went to his master's house, the master's wife cast eyes on him. And he said, Come and lay with me. And Joseph said, How can I do this great evil in the sight of God? There is no greater than me in this house. But you, my master, have kept from me. The covenant brother. If you must escape immorality from sugar mommy, sugar daddy, or even your mate, you have to keep God's covenant. That is the fear of God. How do I make God fear? When this language or this aspect is omitted, there is no way you can be strong and not fall. The power in immorality is very strong. That's it. It takes the power of God, the fear of God, the covenant with the master, not to fall. Listen to what Proverbs chapter 2 is saying. Proverbs chapter 2 uh, and verse, let's see. Yeah, in Proverbs chapter 2 verse 16, it said to deliver thee, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her God, for her house inclineth unto death. And I pass unto the death, not that go unto her return again, neither take day hold of the path of life. That is dangerous. You know, the CEV translation said, Wisdom will protect you from the smooth talk of a sinful woman who breaks her wedding vow and leaves the man she married when she was young. The road to her house leads down to the dark world of the dead. Visit her, and you will never find the road to life again. Oh my God. Did you get that? And so the, the, the interesting part here is to note that this kind of women or this kind of man, especially in this context, it's a woman. Okay, we're talking about sugar mommy. The kind of sweet words that this woman carry and that every adulterous woman carry or a man, okay, is the covenant you have with God. Joseph had covenant with God. God was waiting to use Joseph somewhere. And anytime the devil notices that you have covenant with God, that God has invested in you, and God has some way taking you to. Remember, Joseph even landed in Egypt by the promises of God to Abraham. And so the devil, this is the spiritual dimension of this adultery of Israel. Why is adultery rampant? Why is it rampant about most Christians? It's not way that commit adultery that we're willing to commit. You can see that Joseph was not even interested. And Joseph was so vulnerable because where he was was a strange land. He had many things to deal with, okay? About the madam, so you could be very innocent, you could meet yourself in a very wrong place, and you could tell me now, Pastor, I don't even know how to escape this thing. I'm, I'm tied. Joseph was tied. Okay, you say I'm in a fist corner, I'm, I'm tied. Not as Joseph. Him too was in a very fist corner. And because he didn't know what to do, then he landed in prison. And so it would have actually been better if he has run out before this thing happened. Okay, because first of all, they begin with sweet tongue, sweet tongue, you sweet tongue, you. And so when that sweet tongue is turning your head, the covenant of that you have with God will help you rectify that picture that this person will be painting. Before this woman comes to that level, she has used so many. Look at the adulterous when they ask. The Bible said they are will take you to the land of death of no rivers, no return. This is bad. This why devil is using this vice. This adultery, this way, because he knows that it has a grip on your soul, it has a grip on your spirit, it has a grip on your body. He knows that it can go too deep to eat you up. Did you get that? And so this guy was a person that fears God. Because even when he was sent to prison, if you read that Genesis down, Potiphar, the, the prison man, God there, welcomed him. The, the Lord went with him to the prison. And so what that demon of lust in Potiphar was actually targeting him in Joseph was to siphon, to swallow, to suck that presence of God. Oh, not to suck away the presence of God in the man's life at the adultery. I will come for that. It's a very long series. Nothing because it will grab your soul, it will grab your heart, and your visions will no longer declare because the pictures of immorality are painted so deep. That's what you see major on social media, and your system could change. You say, I'm me, holy sister, I'm me, holy brother. That's what you see beautiful. Potiphar wife saw a house boy who was beautiful, handsome to look upon. That was how it did. It's also possible that she might not have done that before. 
because what was that a handsome boy like that? Joseph might not have come to her house before, or a, 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 a covenant son that the devil wants to destroy, who is going to be a comfort to a nation. So something actually, any, anybody can use and set and enter Judah. It's possible the devil that was against Joseph from their youth also talking about the spiritual dimension. That's why you must stay with God. You must stay prayerful. Because the glory that was in Joseph could react in demonic kingdom. Because people say, if you go to the lap of an adulterous woman, it will send you to the dark world and to the world of death. And so the target that was chasing Joseph from childhood, that sent him to prison, that, that was against him, so that the whole children of Israel will not be rescued. You are a great person. This is why this thing is so hard on you. You look at you in the fist corner. They look as if you run away from this work, that you will not get another. You look as if you run away from this relationship, this tight scale, you will not be satisfied. It's a lie. Emotions play around the atmosphere or surround this. When you live there, the things will also vanish away. It's like shadow. They are not real. And so don't let shadow eat up the reality of God's presence. You see, passion I'm using to preach this. Seriously. Emotions are not. And that's why the person finished doing He said to the young lady, ha, what do you mean by that? You have, been, you have been waiting for four years. Now that you have finally had me now. When are you going to see my parents? I'm not ready to see your parents. Are you a virgin? This is someone that has begged for years. Emotion. Emotion. So be mindful. Don't sell your glory. Learn from Joseph. This is the last one for Joseph for now. We'll come up with more. Be mindful. Remember Samson. Okay, we'll come for Samson soon. Don't say your glory, okay? For Potiphar's wife. Remember the whole target of this demon of sexual desire, immorality, is to stick Kenna. Is to stick Kenna. Don't lose Kenna for two seconds of pleasure. God bless you, Ambassador Glorema. God told me, go and preach against adultery and immorality. See you guys on this episode and shalom. Bye, everyone.